Welcome to this special edition of From Washington, which we're preparing as we get ready for our upcoming board meeting later this week in Fort Lauderdale. You may remember from the agenda that we had a major discussion coming up on MAP 21 reauthorization based upon the hearings and meetings and discussions we've had all over the United States with our members and with all of you. There is a document attached to this email that will give you this report that deals with our proposals at this stage of development. I'd like to say that we're trying to take a broad look at bigger issues as opposed to very small details. We're concerned about where we stand going into this reauthorization, but we also use this document to reiterate our values, the important things that we're for, chief among them being that we are strong believers that community and public transportation must be a national objective for all of the American people and not just for communities and or states. We think it's important to raise that issue now when we have so many people discussing the issue of a reduced federal role. So as we look forward, Scott's been out and about the country, as you know, writing and rewriting some of these details, and he's going to give you a little bit of information as you prepare to read this and discuss it with us later this week. Scott? Thanks, Dale. Yes, the uh, document that is attached to this email is a, the really the work that began at the board meeting last year in Tampa and continued at Expo with our state and tribal delegates and then continued through 13 or 14 listening sessions at various states around the country. What I'd really like you to be able to do is, is kind of, and I'll run through the document relatively quickly so you can get a sense of what we have here and that will, of course, then um, figure on what we're going to discuss uh, when, we, when we talk uh, on Friday. Inside the cover, you're going to see a list of our core mobility values. Uh, Dale already alluded to those. Um, those should be kind of umbrella issues that overset everything you see uh, as we move forward. There's a little bit of about this document. That covers uh, and speaks to the fact that this comes from the field and not just from us here in Washington, which I think is very important. Um, and then we get through the various pages. We designed the document to be able to be pulled apart so someone could, if they were only interested in one aspect of this, use that one page, still has CTA, still has our logo and all that. Um, and we really did this around bullet points or, or, or uh, providing the structure of a reauthorization document that way as opposed to writing a reauthorization bill which really is the job of Congress and this is designed to educate them as they get into that job. The first page is on structure. What are the structural recommendations that we had? The second page and you'll see these are, these are the themes that I hope um, you would expect us to be covering page by page. Rural transit is the second page. The page after that is small urban transit. We move from that to both a page on transit operating and a page covering transit capital. We move again into a broader uh, a section that covers a lot of smaller items that we had discussed but, but that actually are very critical coordination, job access and reverse commute or JARC programs, 5310 program, and then also kind of some discussion that I know we've had at the board level on nonprofit transit providers and what's their role, how do they fit into those programs. We have a uh, discussion on regulations, not just the safety regulations but also going beyond this. And then lastly, some recommendations for planning. What we hope to uh, discuss with you and what we hope emerges when we are done on Friday. It's kind of a cohesive document that is somewhat repetitious, that ideas about regulations appear both on the regulations page and on the rural page or on the small urban page so that, again, if you pull them apart, they still make sense and they're not 
um, required to have other pages to go with them. And, and you know, we're going to have a chance right off the bat to discuss these with the Senate because uh, less than a week from when we have this meeting, um, Barb Klein will be uh, testifying before the Senate Banking Committee, and the document will form the basis. That will be a good part of the written testimony that we provide, and the oral testimony will emerge from, I think, the major themes that are in the document. So um, appreciate your, your really taking the opportunity and taking the time, not just to watch the video here, but to read through what we have and come prepared to discuss what you like, what you like to see changed, uh, uh, and and we're ready to have that discussion and and finish that day with what we can move forward on as the association's reauthorization recommendation. So uh, I'll turn it now back to Dale to kind of conclude the video here. Well, thank you, Scott. And uh, let me say that one of the other themes that runs through our work here and what we heard is that we also want to make sure that even though there are political difficulties today, we want to focus on not just maintaining the current systems, but to develop what we call a growth strategy. Because the basics that really are at the heart of what we understand still remain the same. Much of our country, especially the rural portions and a significant portion these days of urban America, needs more service and we need more service options. And because it is politically correct to say we can all do with less, we know that reality trumps that. This is a critical year for us as we look forward. Everything that we've told people in the past about the changes in population, the demographic changes as well as to where people are and what their destinations are. We all know of the situation confronting us on outpatient health care. All of this comes together and we cannot ignore the reality of our situation for political reasons. Another thing that we've brought forward here is a little bit more of a common sense approach in looking at the future, especially as Scott mentioned, on regulations. We're not here just to yell about the problems in individual pieces of regulations that are being developed or could be developed, but we want to return to the theme of reforming some of these systems so that community and public transit people, the real experts in our field, are involved in the development and decision making. In particular, I think we reflected that in the work we did on developing our own safety certification. We went to you and we worked with you and our other members to develop something that made sense based upon the experiences that people had. That's all we're asking for in terms of when people want to look at making improvements and goals for the program. So I look forward to seeing you this weekend. I hope you'll take a look at this. Please remember these are ideas and concepts. Feel free to propose changes. Mm -hmm. Feel free to say, well, we don't think this is clear enough. But again, I think it's important that we lay out some general propositions that we want a better program, one that's better financed, and one that reflects the experience that our people bring to the process. That's what we heard when we listened over the last year or so. Yeah. And I look forward to talking to you about that this week. So that's all I have. Thanks for listening. And uh, we look forward again to seeing you Friday. Bye for now.